Palm Desert woman is now scheduled to be in court next week after her arraignment was delayed on a murder charge in connection with a deadly fentanyl poisoning case. 39-year-old Tiffany Wright is charged with one count of murder and the death of 32-year-old Cameron Bridges. Investigators say Bridges was found unresponsive in his home in Palm Desert on the morning of March 20th. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau has continuing coverage on the story tonight with District Attorney Mike Hestron again highlighting this issue in Riverside County. Tiffany Wright is accused of selling Cameron Bridges pills knowing they contained fentanyl, which ultimately led to his death. What we're alleging is that they uh, sold or furnished fentanyl, that they knew it was fentanyl, that they understood the dangers and the dangers to human life of, of this activity, and they chose to do it anyway. Bridges' family told me he was not an addict. They said Wright was a good friend of Bridges and that he got the pills from her for temporary pain relief following a dental procedure. People are dying not knowing what they're getting, but it's so lethal, so toxic that just minuscule amounts are, are fatal to the human body. So two milligrams of fentanyl is enough to kill a person. District Attorney Mike Hestron told me this was not an overdose and that unintentional fentanyl deaths are growing more common. It's really uh, so different about fentanyl. It's the, the process of overdose. It's not really overdose anymore. It's not a long process that involves addiction and, and using the drug routinely. It's, it's happening a lot on the first time or the first, you know, second time that someone is taking one of these pills and, and death is occurring. According to Riverside County, there were at least 386 unintentional fentanyl deaths throughout 2021 in the county. Nationwide last year was the first year that we had more than 100,000 people die of what they call overdose. Much of many of those deaths were driven by fentanyl. Hestron also noted that the DEA estimates that 40% of counterfeit pills on the street contain a fatal dose of fentanyl and stresses the importance of being cautious. The facts tell us that a lot of people are dying because they don't know what they're taking. There's no safe way to, to try or use drugs uh, anymore. And we have to come to terms with that reality.